Yes, man, it really is me. Me is AKA the instant burner, man. Whether you're new to the 2K community or you just don't know how to do it, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the momentum crossover. And I'm also gonna show you because it's two types of momentum crossover. I'm gonna show you how to do the fast momentum crossover first too also. Because if you don't if you don't know anything about the crossover, bro, you should know, man. The original crossover that they give you this year, bro, is the is the stutter step. You see that little stutter step that I just got? I'm gonna show you how to get that out and do the 10 times faster so you can do this one right here. That's the faster one, you know what I'm saying? So you can combo up and get out of your moves faster. So you guys make sure to stay tuned. One back, one back, two, back two. I'm from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Back three, back three, back four. All right, guys, before we get into this video, man, I need y'all to help me out. It helps me way more than y'all can even imagine. But I need y'all to smash that like if you're part of the Burner game. And if you're on the fence about smashing that like, if you find this woman right here attractive, I need y'all to also smash that like. I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds to decide. All right, appreciate everybody that hit that like button in the comments, guys. I want y'all to let me know what's your favorite thing that you like about NBA 2K18. Let me know in the comments. But the very first thing you guys are going to want to go do, bro, you're going to want to go um to your nav. And you're going to want to go to your options. You want to go to your controller. Not, not, yeah, your controller settings. I'm tripping. And you want to make sure your pro stick orientation right here. Make sure this is on absolute. What this does, it means your dribble moves are the same everywhere on the court. When you have this on um, camera relative, your dribble moves that they change whether you're on the right side of the court the top of the court the right of the court they all change so you want your moves to be the same all over the court so make sure to always have this on absolute all right guys man to do the momentum crossover let's say the ball is in your right hand if the ball is in your right hand what you're gonna want to do first you want to flick your right stick to the opposite ball hand which will be to your left once you do that you want to press in turbo which is r2 then you want to flick and go in the direction that the ball is going to which will be to your left and you and you will get the and you will get the animation bro and that's the fast one that's how you do the fast one but that's the slow one. that's the one you're gonna get you're gonna get the stutter step one you're gonna get the stutter step one but um to do that fast one that i just showed y'all right there it's pretty easy what you're gonna want to do you want to flick your right stick diagonal to the left then you want to slow down you want to slow down your movements this takes a little practice bro. you want to slow down your movements so you press an r2 and you're going in the opposite direction you just want to slow it down like a millisecond from the from the normal momentum crossover and you will get the fast one bro that's all you got to do and if you want to do that move right there that i just showed you momentum crossover then do go straight behind your back what you want to do is just press back while you're moving in the opposite direction press back on the left stick real quick and you will do that one if you want to do the stationary one this is the one i like just the stationary one like that just the stationary what you want to do once you do the momentum crossover let go of every day thing then press back on the right stick and you will do that one it's pretty easy guys to do these moves this year and you want to do that that's a different one right there but that's it for today guys if you're new to the channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you're missing out on a lot of great content that you don't see from other youtubers and if you rock with the kid don't forget to smash that like and y'all already know who this is it is your boy Mizzle.